All right, what's going on everybody? Varric here uh, with another video. You can probably see already on my screen that is a flame bellow, but you might also notice that it's not a barbarian. So uh, yes, I am going to try out some different builds of the flame bellow sword. Um, this is a paladin, yes, obviously. Uh, I don't play paladin, I don't know paladin too, too much, but obviously I've been playing this game for 20 plus years, so uh, I'm understanding how they work. So uh, this is a charge build. So this is a paladin charger with a flame bellow sword. Um, now you may be thinking, why not hand of justice and dragon, if you know the, if you know the build. Um, here you go, hand of justice dragon. Uh, I will show you quickly the difference, but let's first just do the intro. Um, again, this is Varric. I, I, I do these videos. Uh, please, if you if you enjoy them, if you haven't already, uh, like and subscribe. If you want to see me do more, please feel free to comment. Let me know what you want to see. Um, I love doing this stuff, so I'm going to keep doing it. And uh, I do appreciate all your guys' support. Um, so again, if you like me, keep on keeping on and uh, hit that like button. Um, but anyway, let's get into it. So <clears throat> again, you can use Hand of Justice and Dragon. Um, you get a little bit more resist, but I think your damage falls off pretty dramatically. Um, and I will show you why. So before we even talk about gear, let's just show you the difference, right? So um, looking at, you know, we'll buff up real quick. So looking at our charge damage, right? 21 to 27K and our Holy Fire damage, we have 17 and a half thousand. So we're, we're some pretty high Holy Fire damage or fire damage, excuse me. Now, if I equipped Hand of Justice and the shield, we drop down pretty significantly. I mean, what is that? 5.5K uh, max fire damage. And we lost about 100, if I didn't show up, but we lost about 20 mastery. So you see, we go to 117. So we lost 20 mastery, which is some pretty big holy fire or pretty big fire damage. And last thing I'll show is we go down to 18K, right? Compared to 27K. So we almost lose 10K damage there. Um, so I, I think that just shows that this is way more damage. Um, sure, you get a little bit more survivability. Sure, your resistance jump up to, to 60 um, just because, yeah, you're using a sacred targe, targ, whatever it's called. Um, so anyway, that that is what I wanted to show you. That is why I'm using the Flame Bellow Sword, and it just looks super cool. Um, you know, I like it. I think it's awesome. Uh, so let's get into it. Let's go to the build. So yes, again, the, the shining star here is the Flame Bellow weapon. I like to have DS on it, so I usually try to find a DS, ED DS slam with the four socket uh, P-Box <clears throat> and yeah, fire facets in it. Here I have the Crown of Ages. So uh, on my Barbarian, I use Kira's Guardian, but you'll see that I have a lot of fire pierce, right? I have 35 fire pierce plus 66 or plus 66, right? So I'm already at, I'm already breaking a hundred. Um, and, and I think that any more would just be uh, too much, right? I don't think it's necessary. I think you really fall off in your fire damage, um, you know, specifically Pierce when you get too high. So I think there's more room for other stuff like the PDR, the all res from here. Yes, I know this has all res, but uh, you know, again, just more, a little more survivability. The curse duration is super nice. Um, and speaking of survivability, I am running Mares with some ED here. Um, you could potentially also run High Lords. You could run Rising Sun, uh, but I think that extra res, just because without it, you're you're literally at zeros all across the board. Um, your fire damage, your fire res will be higher just because of Holy Fire Aura. But um, sure, you can run this. It'll give you max DS, but I think 50 is enough. Sure, you can run Rising Sun. It'll give you more fire damage, but I think you start to fall off. Um, so anyway, that is that. Uh, Gore Riders, again, just for some more DS and Crushing Blow. Just trying to fit in some more physical damage into the build. Uh, we have a Raven Frost because we do need CBF now. You could potentially get that on your Maras. That's going to be expensive as hell. Uh, maybe do like a dual leech ring here. Uh, I'm simulating Mono Leech, so I, I'm simulating that I slammed Mono Leech on that. Um, so that's there. Uh, yep, string of ears for a little extra PDR uh, gives you some nice leech as well. So we're at 14 now with this build. Um, Wisp projector, 3% le life leech. <clears throat> you can pretty much get any slam you want. We are also running soul drainers. Um, I'm running this with 10 DS. So again, simulating 10 DS slam. Uh, here's plus one, just maybe from Crown of Ages. We ages we could have got. Um, could also get plus one here, but again, that's gonna be crazy expensive. Uh, and charms, I'm running the, right, 72 is the uh, amount of fire damage you would get from a full inventory of large charms. So 72 here, um, 
you have one free slot for a small charm, so I just put a big juicy fire damage small charm there, and then just torch Annie, of course. Um, right, so some other examples you could use, you could run Inferno Stride for more fire, you could run Hellmouth for more fire, um, but again, I would like to have a little bit extra physical damage into this build so that I can I can sustain better, right? More life leech, more mana leech, um, and you help it helps you deal with the uh, fire immunes a little bit better as well. Um, so that's that's gear talk. Uh, sorry, I wanted to take a little extra time to do that. Um, stats enough strength to wear your gear. I probably dumped a little bit more than I needed to in dexterity. You probably don't need all that much. Um, especially because you're running conviction i usually just run it just to have a little more attack rating but with conviction i don't think that's going to be an issue and somebody might be able to answer me i don't know if charge uses attack reading regardless again i'm not sure with the class but uh yeah you could probably you could probably lose some dexterity and dump more into vitality just a little extra life um but that's stats skills real quick so skills i want to touch on for a second as well um you made me thinking like why are you why are you using holy fire from from gear when you're a paladin you can just run holy fire right well you really don't get that high of a holy fire by maxing out and, and having the gear like sure you could do plus to skills but i think the fire damage is going to be way better um i didn't mean to do that uh but yeah you'll really only get up to like 28 or so and with this you're getting a level 40 holy fire and it gives you more abilities to use points elsewhere, right? So I'm maxing Conviction. I am maxing all the synergies. So that's the one thing about um, when you have a native aura, but you're getting it from your gear, you can max all your synergies and you'll benefit from that, that aura from your gear. For instance, if I was like a, a Necromancer who had a Bone Spear on proc uh, from his gear, I can max all the synergies to Bone Spear and it'll benefit from that. The only thing it won't benefit from is I actually put points into Bone Spear, right? So if I put points into Holy Fire, this would not benefit. I would not benefit from the Holy Fire that I'm getting from my gear. Just the synergies. Um, so again, real quick, right? So here's synergies capped, resist fire, salvation, and blessed aim. And then we're running conviction. So we max conviction, right? Because we're only getting a level, what is it, like 12 or 16 from, uh, from infinity if I were to use it on my mercenary. So I'm not going to do that. Um, Right, so that's that is skills. Uh, I am putting one point in joust, and I'm maxing charge. This was this is not necessary. I was playing around with the uh, you know H or J, um, so you don't you don't need that. You're obviously not going to use that because you're not wearing a shield. So you're maxing charge, one point in joust, and I'll tell you why I'm putting one point in joust because it is kind of annoying to try to charge long distances. Um, so that's uh, skills. Excuse me, uh, mercenary is the and sorry I, I tend to move around a lot and when i'm talking and playing i mindlessly move around so i apologize if that's frustrating um yep so pride again just trying to maximize damage as best as i can um you could also potentially run doom but i find that i'm moving around so much that it, by the time I, the actual cold aura kicks in they're already dead so uh pride just for some big beefy damage and it helps Pretty much everything, right? It's helping your charge, it's helping your um, your life steal sustain stuff like that. So that's nice. Flickering flame. This is going to give you fire damage, so you're actually benefiting from the fire resist aura that your pet, your mercenary is giving you. Uh, so you get fire damage from that. Templar's might just for some extra might damage, right? More physical. These are just whatever gear for him to stay alive, and not be frozen. You do benefit from the the enchant fire because it gives you fire damage. Um, so as mercenary, I am running Act 2 Defiance, so I could potentially run Blessed Aim to get my Deadly Strike up a little bit more, but I do find that this build tends to be a little squishy, so that is why I'm having this like extra defensive stuff, right? I'm 30, if I leave town, I'll be even higher. Um, yeah, 39% damage reduction, so that's kind of nice. Um, all right, but let's do, let's do a couple maps and try it out, right? We went over stats, skills, gear. Uh, I think I explained everything pretty well. Um, yeah, let's get after it. So again, of course, this is cows. So any kind of elemental build is just going to crush cows uh, with no issue. But I still wanted to show it to you for fun. So you will see I will do very well against these cows. Um, and with that PDR, you do pretty well. So I'm going to just run to the boss uh, just so you guys can see. Um, I did also mention I would talk about why. Sorry, I'm backtracking a little bit, but these will die very quickly. So that's, that's some nice damage. I did mention uh, that I would talk about why I wanted Joust. Um, so if you charge too far with the charge ability, you actually desync. 
Is there? I think I saw fire resist. Yep, there he is. So that was a fire immune that I just did killed him very fast. So you can see when you do come against fire immunes, you have really no issue because you do have a lot of physical damage. So here, let's do a quick charge. I'm going to charge here. You see that? I desync like crazy. So you actually never want to keep your mouse too far out when you're charging uh, because you're going to desync. And that's very frustrating. And it apparently was even worse in uh, vanilla um, that the devs have done what they could to fix that, but uh, can't make it perfect. So yes, you'll see you do nice short charges, joust when you need to. It's got a pretty long cooldown, so just bear that in mind. Uh, you can see down here when I joust, it'll turn red and it takes a little bit of time to come back up. So uh, that is what it looks like. <clears throat> so yeah, for the most part, you're charging around between packs um, as long as they're close. And then when you need to get far, you joust. So let's get to Cal Queen. Let's see how we do against her. I'm just having some fun killing cows here because there's nothing like it. See, even that was too far. You still you still hit them, but it just it just bugs you out a little bit, and I just don't like loss of control. Um, and I actually have you can get stuck in a charge like if you I think if you desync like too many times or. Or if you hold in W, like you hold in the charge ability and just kind of go from pack to pack that way, it can get kind of buggy. So I usually just click, click, click. Yeah, I'm just pressing W each time. That's where it's bound to. But yeah, I mean, you can see this. This is this is a strong build. Um, there's there. I'm taking some serious damage when I get hit by elemental. That's why I do want to run a little higher resist. Um, but yeah, here's Cal Queen. Let's see how we do. Boom, 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 boom. No issues. All right, she's dead. So that was kind of cool. <laughs> and you you charge pretty darn fast. I mean, there's I have like no attack speed, um, nor cast rate, right? And I'm charging pretty darn fast, right? If I hold it in and just just go for it, yeah, she, she dies pretty quick. Um, all right, let's get out of here. Let's do one more map, because again, I know cows are just gonna die and that's not showing you the build much. Um, so let's get into a Zoltan Cool. I think this is another good fire map. <clears throat> you will notice uh, you do have to be a little more careful, right? So um, you're not the tankiest. Uh, you, obviously, again, you would be tankier if you ran a shield. Um, so I think the, the good old Hand of Justice and Dragon Shield is probably the play for hardcore. I'm a, I'm a softcore baby, so I'm going to run just fun damage stuff. Um, I, sh I could go even more glass cannon, but I mean, there comes a point where it's just frustrating to play when you're so squishy that like you feel like you can't do anything and you just die to stuff. Um, so I do like having a little bit of survivability. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you see, I'm really, I'm still, I'm still zooming across the map. I'm still sustaining pretty well. Uh, I'm obviously, you, you do still have to be careful, right? You're going to find these. And this is this is a oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, so I mean that that was a might pack with all of these quills that I just ran into. So you're you're not you're not invincible. Um you you know you're not you're not this just god that you can do whatever you want and still have to be careful. Uh, I obviously did that not careful enough. I'm, I haven't played this class enough to to know exactly how to do that. Um but yeah, it's a great build, guys. It's it's super fun, it's super strong. Um, you can change it around. You can get a little tankier if you really want to with this with the hand of justice and shield um, So that'll probably go a pretty decent way, um, but I think this is more fun. This is more cool um, Yeah, try it out see what you think uh, I know I already did a guide on how to get into pluggy. So if you guys do want to try it This is the build feel free to copy it um, if you don't really know about Pluggy, again, I've done videos in the past on how to download Pluggy, how to use Pluggy. It's just a way, it's like, it's almost like a hero editor. You can just get in, you can make different classes. Um, it's all, it's all still Diablo, obviously. You can make Barbarian, Paladin, Amazon, get them to level 99, make some builds, have some fun. Um, so again, I, I do some vi other videos if you want to learn how to do that. So check, check out my channel. Um, but that's it guys. That, that was the build. Um. Sorry, I died there at the end. <laughs> I would like to show a little bit more. Um, but I mean, you saw the damage. You saw what it could do. Um, and you saw that, yes, you are not invincible and you can still die and you have to be careful. Um, but you can certainly crush some maps and, and really move pretty fast and do pretty well. Um, 
yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. If you have any comments, anything I may have gotten wrong in terms of like charge paladin goes, please let me know. Um, or if you have any improvements, let me know and I'll, I'll try it out and, you know, see what it feels like. But, you know, I think this is a pretty good all around. Um, so anyway, that's the video, guys. Hope you all have a great day. Take care. Bye.